Hey everybody. I have a couple of videos that I need to work on, but I thought I'd throw this in here. Uh, it's a little meal prepping, mostly for the dogs. <laughs> um, Harley has been dealing with skin issues. And for a while, we thought they were hot spots. Um, allergy shots, the allergy shot helped the first time. Everyone after that did not help. She has been z taking Zyrtec with me and that doesn't seem to be helping. So it's not, I assume that means it's not environmental, like seasonal allergies. But the hot spot treatments aren't working either. And we've tried a few different ones. And also when I look up hot spots online, it's not what she's got. Hers aren't red, they're not irritated and oozing, or it, it's it's not a hot spot from what they're calling a hot spot. She's just her skin gets dry and it kind of scabs over and the hair falls out in one spot. And but, but and then it just grows back. I mean, it, it doesn't bleed. It doesn't, there's no nastiness other than the flaky skin. So I am assuming it's food allergies. None of us have been eating right. She's also a lazy inside AC dog. That's why I can run circles around her at that park. I decided we need to cut out not cutting out the kibble yet. I don't want to have to change their food. But um, we're going to cut out some of the store-bought snacks. One in particular that I think may be the problem is one that we have never changed. I got rid of the cheap Walmart biscuits and stuff like that a while back when I started buying her vitamins. She takes multivitamins with omega-3s. I was putting coconut oil in their food or I would be I would rub it on the spots on her skin. She loves coconut oil on her kibble. Actually they both do. <laughs> they went nuts over it. But you know, we stopped doing it. So we need to get back into that. But Tucker takes anti-inflammatories for his arthritis every morning and he has to take it with food. And I can't guarantee, because they're grazers, I can't guarantee he's gonna go to his bowl and eat after I give him his medicine, so I always give them a snack, a, a breakfast. What they've been having for breakfast is uh, Rachel Ray's, they're called soup bones. They're about this long. Uh, they're chewy, so Tucker can eat them because he's having trouble chewing, so we can't get him the hard snacks. And I found them at a good price on Amazon, so you can get them cheaper on Amazon than you can at any of the stores. So they just each get one of those every morning, and they go nuts over them. I'm hoping it's the snacks, and I'm hoping I don't have to change the kibble. We're going to keep the kibble, because that's going to be their, their dinner. But for breakfast, because they, he needs something to eat with his medicine, I decided to make them some homemade food. And I've watched a few videos on YouTube of people that are doing this. One of the videos that I watched that I liked what he used, um, he actually found chicken gizzards and hearts. He had chicken thighs, stew meat, ground turkey. He had quite a few different meats. I particularly like the idea of using the chicken gizzards and hearts and stuff. Those organs have a lot more nutritional value, I believe. Ooh, that was Tucker, wasn't it? He scared himself with his own fart. I kind of followed his recipe. It's beef broth. I use chicken thighs, pork stew meat, and beef liver. Because Walmart didn't have any chicken liver or gizzards or hearts. 
And then for the vegetables, I did carrots, green beans, and sweet potatoes. And you add eggs and brown rice to soak up all the liquid. Is that it? I think that's it. You'll see. <laughs> and I will list it all below. So I just went to Walmart and did my grocery shopping this evening and I was going to meal prep for myself too. <laughs> I ended up making a salad for myself. I wanted to make the other soup mix, but their food occupied my only soup pot. <laughs> so I'll have to make the soup tomorrow night. So I've got some videos here to show you step by step how I made it. It ended up being a big ass pot full of food and I separated it into quart size bags to put in the fridge and the freezer and I ended up getting six bags and each bag has about three cups in it so they get a cup and a half each every morning. I could because they're not used to having a lot they just had one of those snacks so I could take it down to like a cup each each every morning plus they each had a cup tonight and you'll see that on here too because I let them try it tonight. If I pared it down to one cup each every morning, that would probably give me about 10 days worth in the pot that I made tonight. And I'm gonna put down the amounts of everything and how much I ended up paying for that pot of food that gave me, a, we're gonna say it's 10 servings. But they loved it. And it's got a lot of good stuff in it. and. <laughs> The coolest part is there's veggies in there. I have never gotten them to eat fruits or vegetables, even cooked. Like I tried baking, I tried making homemade jerky out of sweet potato. So they had something to chew on. Neither one of them wanted it. It's like Bert the Furk. Crazy ass dogs. Y'all ready for night night, aren't you? Okay, I'm going to start cutting up the chicken. What we've got is some boneless chicken thighs. I've got some stew meat, which is already cut up, so I don't have to cut that up. And we got beef liver. That's got to finish deep. Well, it's mostly defrosted, actually. I need to cut that up. And I took a shortcut, so I don't have to cut up vegetables. <laughs> that got frozen. We got green beans, sweet potatoes, and carrots. We got two bags of sweet potatoes, so they're gonna have extra sweet potatoes. We've got unsalted beef broth. It's gonna be the base, and we've got some brown rice. To soak up the juices. Oh, also kidney beans and they are no salt added. Those are gonna go in there too. What is mama doing? I'm making something for you. All right, let's, let's get started with this chicken, shall we? Watch out, baby. meat. I'm not going to be too precise. And I'm not going to bother trimming it because we don't want to get rid of the good stuff, do we, baby? Uh, what do you smell, huh? Can't see you in the camera. Tucker's over here sniffing the counter from the other side. Nose is going crazy. Right. You gonna help? Mm -hmm. Is that what you're doing? Okay. Dump the chicken in there. Watch out. We'll go ahead and. My OCD is going to make me chop this a little better, isn't it? 
It's not very... It's kind of big pieces. Harley got up. I don't know if that was just the sound of the packaging or she could smell it when I broke the seal. Ew. Oh, liver texture is not one of my favorites. Thankfully, it is still frozen a little in the middle. So it's not as ooey gooey. I mean, that first piece I took off was ooey gooey. This is gross. <laughs> but being frozen makes it much easier to cut. All right, Tuck. Yes, it does. Keep this mofo up. Yep, I prefer cutting it when it's frozen. Oh, this is going to be your favorite part though, isn't it guys? Because it's the nastiest part. <laughs> I mean, I already know they love liver. They love the... Um, I don't know if they're freeze-dried or just dried or what. There's some liver treats that uh, they just go nuts over. I was surprised at how cheap the liver actually was. This one pound pack was $2.47. So. the cheapest meat I bought today. It's because no one likes liver. Except your grandma. If they'd had some chicken gizzards, mama would have been all over it, wouldn't she? I looked for them. They no got him. work her way up to the raw diet, okay? We're not doing raw right now. Okay. Let's put this in the pot. I know you smell that meat. What you doing over there? You helping? Okay. Now we can put the veggies in. Okay. You can turn this on. Bam! First try. That's what I'm talking about. Put it on medium so we can get started. videos I watched that gave me the idea. He used canned beans and canned green beans. Green beans. 
little bit out of the dam, but maybe I'm adding them too soon. Maybe they're still going to be mush. These are sweet potato. If they were fresh sweet potato, they would need to be added right now. We'll see. I really don't think they're going to have an issue if it's mush because my dogs, I've never been able to get them to eat vegetables unless, you know, I put them in a cookie which I have done before. We're also gonna put eggs at the end. So we're gonna put the kidney beans, the eggs, and the rice at the very end. But this needs to simmer for at least an hour. So I'm gonna let it do its thing. And we'll come back been going for almost 50 minutes. To me it looks like it's cooked good.
Ah, uh, no, sir. <coughs> I'm trying to put, make, make a video here. I'm trying to speak. You don't need to. <coughs> no. Anyways, while I was making theirs, I actually went outside and dumped my tanks and filled my fresh water and was letting stuff drain so I could put together a salad for me. You know, not a green salad, obviously. Well, there's some green, there's peas in there. This is my, normally I make a macaroni salad with Velveeta and diced ham and peas and corn. Oh, I don't have any green onions. Oh, well. Um, but pasta does not sit well with me or it doesn't necessarily make me sick I just can't eat very much of it so just don't eat the pasta eat all the rest of the good stuff um, so it's my macaroni salad without the macaroni and this time I added some black beans I just got a can of black beans and drained and rinsed them I got frozen corn frozen peas and then Velveeta, and since I got to use up what's in the pantry, I'm using Spam instead of canned ham, which is what I normally use. Same effect. And as you can see, it drives the dogs nuts. I do have a few pieces of Velveeta over here saved for you guys because y'all aren't spoiled enough, so I'll save a few pieces of Spam too. How about that? work for you guys and uh, this doesn't need any kind of dressing or anything the cheese kind of melts onto everything else uh, just to add a little salt and pepper maybe a little garlic salt or something and it's good to go and there it is added a little bit of salt you don't need much because of the spam and the cheese some pepper some garlic I even added some onion flakes in there and uh, this stuff is great to eat on for like a week or more. It'll last two or three weeks in the fridge, no problem. Um, oh, I didn't do boiled eggs either. I usually put boiled eggs in the pasta salad. But um, yeah, this just gets better every day that it sits and everything mingles together. And that cheese starts to melt around everything so you don't have any cubes of cheese left. It's wonderful. minutes almost and look it's still red still got liquid sitting on top I can only hope that it's gonna thicken up I mean there's a lot at the bottom so hopefully it'll soak that up eggshells in there and that cooked liver does not smell appetizing to me so we're just gonna we're just gonna let the dogs tell us how they like it I'm gonna let it cool for a little while and then we'll package it up and let them try a little bit and see how they like it but this is mainly gonna be for their breakfast to replace some of the uh, store-bought snacks. The time to test it out. You want to have a little bit for supper? Look what mama made you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I think they like it. Look at that. Cleaning up the mess. Good girl. Again, Harley's finished with poor Tucker. My goodness, baby girl. My little pig, little pig. Clean up your mess. You know what the best part is? Okay, you want to let her clean it? You guys just ate vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> People laugh. 
Look at that. You left a few pieces of rice in there. You got some stuff on your nose. <laughs> I think it passed the test. All right, it's been sitting here cooling for, it's only been like an hour or so, but look at that. It's soaked up all those juices beautifully. Looks wonderful. Okay, I got six bags here. There's about three cups in each bag. So that's a cup and a half for each of them in the morning. This one's a little shy, but um, they each just had about a cup earlier. So we got six days worth. If they hadn't a taste tested it, we would have seven days worth. And I probably could get more out of it if I just they gave them a cup each every morning. I could do, I could get probably three more days out of it. Now I'm just going to let these sit and cool off some more because, you know, that pot did not have enough time to cool. They're still, they're still quite warm. Um, I'll probably put two in the fridge and the rest in the freezer. And yeah, we'll be good to go. We can call it a night. They loved it. I think it's going to do great. I hope and pray that this makes a difference in her skin. And that way we know that it was those snacks and we're just not gonna do it again. So anyways, I do, I do have a couple other different types of videos that I was gonna work on for you. I'll work on putting those together in the next week. And um, yeah, I hope, I hope you enjoy this. If you do, hit the like button. S subscribe, that would be wonderful. Ring the little dingy dingy so you'll get notifications when I put new content up. And uh, if you if you make your own dog food, tell me about it in the comments. If you try this stuff, tell me what how it goes. And uh, yeah, any other suggestions on dog allergies? Bring them my way. I did add a little bit of the video of me making my salad, my, my pea salad, or I don't know what you want to call it. It's, it's not a salad. It don't got no lettuce, <laughs> but it's good. So yeah, hope you enjoy it. Hope you guys are doing well and I will check you later, check you later.